those things are going down. as you made out there. Bad. They worse than worse. Yo, it was one for gossip. Jethro Minglethorpe. Gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. The hell are you Sweet doing? Heaven. You dirty bastard! This can go straight to the law. <laughs> what the hell are you me? doing? This is uh, very kind of you. So help me God you give that back! Boy. Out of the way! Yeah.
Got the help talking about that boy you got killed in Rhodes. You asked for this! All shook up. Well, that comes as no surprise. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. All right, well, come back if you change your mind. That's the hell, you son of a bitch! That's how you want to do it? I'm gonna hang your saddle, you son of a bitch! Damn it! Damn it! It's your last goddamn roundup! Now you better cut me loose. Gonna be a shallow grave for you, Tenderfoot! For well, God damn! To hell with you! God, no! I implore you, desist! I can't take this door! Damn Our next you arrival asked for this. is just about due, folks. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. You asked for this! Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Hello. You asked for this! Oh shit! Uh. Calling all past I'm fine! Don't you tell me I'm not! For you, Way for Hey, take that fight elsewhere, come on!
friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It wasn't murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first. See if anyone's on our trail. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Well, don't stand on ceremony. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Thinking of going after them, are you? I'd wager you're more than up to it. I happen to know that fella is farming the swamp, or trying to, up by Siltwater Strand. He's a bad egg. Fancy that. I seen the company going here. You done raised enough cane around here. Yep. Hey, evening, mister. Rose, you don't want to miss this. Evening, partner. Have a good evening, mister. Well, been a while since you were last here. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Okay. Take a browse. You looking for something else? Thanks, Mister.
we go. until you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Oh, they're here for your bounty. Oh, come to Mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. I think take quick. a moment. You're a forgiven man. to go heartless bastard stop hey over here over here hey that's a woman and child i ain't gonna fight you in front of my family okay you gonna take me or what wanted to say goodbye. Boy, you're the man now. You can't be soft no more. I love you, Daddy. Quit that talk. Just be strong, boy. Got your neck broke prematurely. No more games, all right? All right, then.
Won't be long to wearing roads. This is Rhodes. You're almost shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out in the bayou. Wasn't hurting no one. Your past catches up with you. the price for Johnson. I didn't take it someone else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't whiter than white. I hope your past catches up with you. How's things with you? Don't you believe in redemption? I worked the land. I raised a family. I redeemed myself. Please. We've had quite enough of your kind here. That's Don't bad. rush me. I'll get right. to you. That a fact. Farewell. Ah, something else? Got some bills to pay, huh? Bye. Wait your turn. Almost done. As a sign of respect to our Creator, we pay respect to the dead.
oh father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. Tell us, Jay, father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. Those were kind words, Father. Maybe. But what good are words? Okay, then. Find a team. Come on now, boy.
Listen, fool, stay the hell away. Well, would you look at this? Hey! You ain't got no business being here. You as dumb as you <laughs> look, huh? Oh, once I'm loose, I'm gonna bleed you dry. Now I'm just you gonna check fool. your pockets. What the devil? This what you want? <clears throat> Moaning won't help you. Okay. Okay, fella. I travel alone. yourself a minute there. Whoa. it is what we agreed on good man well you keep on doing what you do best if you need more just come along back take hey you ain't seen shit right the north will remember us soon enough
Where's this shine? Easy now. Get you home. some fear behind that mask, huh? You're a wonderful man! Wonderful! <laughs> you got my money? <laughs> it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? 
<clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, c could you do that? Hmm? <laughs> excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. What? The sooner you speak to the chief, the sooner we can show everyone. Watch it. What's gotten into your head? Señor, fíjate... want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom. Now you can, as thanks to my book, you'll be extremely rich. This is what America was made for, the chance for the cream to rise to the top. It's time you proved you were cream and not milk. Hello, mister. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? Sure, I'll take one. That'll be fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Sure. The best investment you'll ever make, my friend. Listen! Ignore me at your peril! At your peril, I say! You'll be poor, and I'll be rich! And so will those of you with the wisdom to pay attention, to learn from the best, from the kind of rich fellow who doesn't give a fool a break, but cares about those who care about themselves. Come on, I want to help you. A little more space here to operate would be appreciated. 
Wake up! Please, for the love of all that's holy, I'm talking money, people! Money! Do you want it or not? Buy this book! It's reasonably priced! Time to end this nonsense and let us vote. Once and for all. Bonjour, Monsieur. Ma'am. You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. Welcome to our humble police house. I can't possibly help you I'm if you don't tell me what you did. I'm the inventor of a humane execution machine, an electric chair, and he uh, wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But I'll give you a permit for 50 Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Oh boy.
friend. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Go up and move. Ron? Thank the Lord for that. Well, one moment, please. This is extremely delicate. Hey. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon and Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. Oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no. I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventure. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need... Fifteen assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while.
in school hired a new teacher, a woman teacher. Monsieur Easy. What the hell? You're done now! Easy, boy. Easy. See there.
Whoa. Easy. 
see. Easy boy, gotta be done. done. Okay there.
You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. This is uh, very kind of you. Take me to damn cork, then! This ain't America! We ain't free no more! <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly, is what I mean. Nope. Dude, that's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge.
Professor will be real pleased to meet you. No. Here, I got him. You're wonderful. Come on. Yeah, don't be shy now. Let's go. Uh, put him down just there. Now, where's my money? Um, uh, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, but well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. Uh, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come on.
Don't tell me you use the Garibaldi. Hey, don't give it away. You see this one here? <laughs> Got something to say? Maybe he doesn't know who we are, huh? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on, then. Come on now, boy. Well, see, you boys Whoa. need to learn you some respect. On. You know what? Even Good to see you again, mister. Ready for a clean slate? Take care now. Yeah. Clear! I need to pass! <laughs> Greetings, friend! The painter! <laughs> okay. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave! Go far away! We will never understand you here! I say, I go to Saint Denis! They say that is not far enough! <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Civilization! So oppressive, so stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! I shot on that bar! Quick, behind here! Keep on! Allez, allez, vite <laughs> We are away Come now, follow me Those fellas, you... you... 
chat on their bar? But of course, I needed to shit. Hey, come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. The money lenders. We go another way. We go through here. What's this? Quickly! Oh, it's nothing. I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Now get moving, come on. Good morning, mister. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of radios. Not so much. The new kind? The whole in the face. We go from there. Ain't no place for hillbillies like you in town no more. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse, do I not? With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby. Where are you wearing? I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. well good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. <laughs> we made it! Let's go! Oh no 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 I got it! He's out here! Uh, more friends? I'll deal with uh, uh, I am not so weak, sir! Uh. Uh. The ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All about the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir.
Nice to see you again, sir. Clear this ride up for you. Thank you. isn't too flattened either. Thanks for that, partner. All the best. there. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Poor bastard. Well, uh, guess I'll tell the sheriff when I get to town.
Slow up now. Yeah. Easy now. Easy, whoa.
Idiot. About damn time. They said you'd be through two days ago. Sorry, what are you talking about? Just leave what you got in the cellar and be on your way. My guts give me hell, and I ain't in a sociable mood. Which one are you again? Walker? Wheeler? I don't know. All you boys look the same these days. I ain't sure what you want from me, lady. Are you dead in the head, boy? Put the loot down in the cellar with the rest of it. Is that clear enough for you, you dumb yak? Through the back there. No meddling. Hey, what's taking so long down there? around and get back up here. What the hell you think you're doing? You put that back or we will hunt you down. Now that's a worst mistake you could ever make. You think you can steal from me? You got no idea of the pain coming your way. Let me give you some advice. Turn around. Hell out of my house. No! Stealing from me is the worst mistake you ever made. You're as good as dead already. You best be gone, you son of a bitch. You don't know who you're dealing with. 